Hey guys, so today I'm here with a hands-on of Code Theme 2.0. Uh, so as I'm sure most of you guys know, Code Theme, the original, uh, was a website that allows you to go ahead and create your own custom winterboard themes and to go ahead and download straight to your device. So you don't have to worry about you know knowing what all the names, the icons are, all this kind of stuff. Basically, you can go ahead and just pick stuff out, click it, you're good to go. Well now, Code Themed is being redesigned from the ground up for the version 2.0. And it adds a ton of really cool new features. And thanks to the developers of Code Themed, I have a beta invite to go ahead and show you guys a little bit about it. Uh, now the full version will launch uh, October 10th, so you guys can go ahead, take a look at it then. However, it, I'll go ahead and let me just show you a little bit about it, uh, show you what you can do. It's very pretty, it's very, very impressive. Uh, so let's actually go ahead and start with backgrounds. Now, like I said, this is very simple. All you need to do is click on it, and you're done. You're basically creating the entire theme. Uh, so new in Code Theme 2.0 is the, the support for video wallpapers. So let's go ahead and just pick uh, this one. So we can go ahead and hit Set or Preview. So we can go ahead and just set it uh, to the home screen. Uh, now, actually, in the uh, in the browser itself, you won't see it, but once you go ahead and download this to your device, you'll actually see a full video wallpaper. And, of course, with Code Themed, while there are lots of pre-built options, as you guys can see here, we can go ahead and just scroll down here, take a look at some of them, um, but you can also, obviously, upload your own. So, while you, you can create a really nice thing just from what they have here, there's absolutely nothing stopping you from going ahead and downloading and cut theming way more. Uh, so let's go ahead and just pick here. Let's go ahead and pick. Uh, let's go ahead and just create a custom theme. So I'm go ahead and set this to the home screen. So there we go. Uh, now another really cool new feature is that you can actually go ahead and set the images to individual home screens. Uh, so most of the time, obviously, you know, you want the background to stay the same. However, if you want, let's say this this kind of wood-like background should be on one um, at no, no other pages. So we can go ahead and hit apply. Oops, right, let's, let's actually remove from these other pages. Um, so there we go. So let's go ahead and just apply it to the first page. So as you can see here, we have this, but if we go over to the other page, it's that original video wallpaper. Uh, so again, very, very robust support for that, which is pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the icons. Using Code Theme, you can go ahead and cut, uh, customly style your icons. Uh, so let's just go ahead and pick, and again, they have quite a few really high quality uh, icons that you can use. Um, so let's see here, I like uh, this one. So we can go ahead and drag and drop, or you can go ahead and just click on it. So let's click on this one and it'll automatically change. And another really cool thing is that, well obviously you can just click on it, but let's say I want, for some reason, SMS to look like the clock. So we can go ahead and drop it on there and we actually make our clock look like SMS. So there really is a really nice variety of customization. So you know, let's go ahead and just scroll through here. As you can see here, there are quite a few different, well, it's pretty much for every all of the default ones. Uh, so let's go ahead and think Safari and see here, which one do we want to use? Uh, let's use this one. So there we go, there's Safari just changed. Um, another cool feature, and while this actually doesn't work perfectly as far as what it looks like, you can actually rotate the, rotate the icons. So with just a single click, all of our icons are now sideways. Uh, now, as, you, as it actually just pops up, it looks a little bit blurry in the emulator, but once you go ahead and download it to your device, it should look just fine. Let's go ahead and just click this a couple more times to rotate the icons back to the normal way. And let's just go ahead and continue on. Uh, so now let's go ahead and just take a look at Docs. I'm going to go ahead, uh, Docs pretty much work the same way, so we can go ahead and pick uh, this one. Uh, as you can see here, the really cool thing is the emulator has just been rebuilt, so it works very, very fast. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty impressive as far as I mean. I just click on it, and it changes really nicely. Um, and the last thing I'll go ahead and show you guys today is the labels. So you actually can go ahead and change the font of all your labels. Uh, so that font's okay, but let's try uh, this one. Uh, that looks pretty good. But And then, of course, we can go ahead and just scroll up and down as far as the font size. Um, then we can go ahead and choose color. So let's make this purple. I like the purple. So there we go. So we, now we have purple text, just as simple as that. Uh, now, guys, there is going to be quite a bit more. Of course, this is just the beta version. They're really working hard to finish it all up. Um, but you will be able to work on the lock screen, the status bar, as well as quite a few other uh extras of the you know the different parts of the operating system uh, so guys that's it for my hands-on of code theme 2.0 very very impressed i'm definitely looking forward to checking it out uh, so guys remember it will be live in the full version with all of the you know it'll be totally set up um, on the 10th so definitely go ahead check back on the 10th it's going to be codetheme.com uh, so anyway guys 
Thanks for watching.